Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So we have this power series and we have to find its interval of convergence. Okay. So let us start with a given power series. We have, so I'm writing the same power series here, summation n running from zero to infinity, x minus one raised to n minus one, divided by 3 raised to n n square. So this is a given power series and we have to find its interval of convergence. To find the interval of convergence, we should know its radius of convergence. So now our first focus or the first target is to find its radius of convergence, then we will go for its interval of convergence. Okay. So the radius of convergence have, has a formula r is equal to 1 by alpha. See here alpha can be calculated in two ways. Okay, so we have two methods to find the value of alpha. Alpha is equal to limit n tends to infinity supremum of mod cn raised to 1 by n. This is the first formula and the second formula is limit n tends to infinity mod cn plus 1 upon cn. This is the second formula. So we use any one of these two formulae. We find the value of alpha. And reciprocal of alpha is nothing but our radius of convergence. So my suggestion is if you have any power n, then go for the first formula. Otherwise, you can go for the second formula. And the second suggestion, if you have that x minus 1 or x minus something, x raised to the power is other than n. It can be n minus 1, n plus 1, n minus 2 like that. Then also go for the first formula. Okay. So here the power is n minus one. Actually, we were expecting n only standard form is n, but here we have having n minus one. So I will go for the first formula, right? So let us uh, start to find uh, alpha. So let me mention here, here cn. Cn means multiple of x raised to n. So let me show you. If you have series like this, x raised to n, so cn is a multiple of that x raised to n. So here the multiple of this bracket is 1 by 3 raised to n, n square. So at a place of x, we have this bracket, no? This is power series around 1 and this is power series around 0. So that's why we have this bracket and its multiple is 1 upon 3 raised to n and n square. So this is our cn. Let us go further. Then alpha is equal to limit n tends to infinity supremum of mod that cn is this 1 upon 3 raised to n n square and whole raised to 1 by n we generally take if you have this power series but see here the power is n minus 1 so i should write here 1 upon n minus 1 right so this is equal to no need to take supremum we will get the same value so that's why i'm directly writing limit n tends to infinity see there is no need of mod also since uh, 3 raised to any natural number is obviously positive real number and square is obviously positive, no need of mod. So let me write 1 raised to anything you will have 1 and 3 raised to n n square raised to 1 by n minus 1. Okay. So let us continue here. So this is equal to limit n tends to infinity. Okay. 1 by. See if you take uh, directly take the separate separate power it will not cancel so that's why i'm going to do one adjustment that is 3 raised to n n square raised to 1 by n into n upon n minus 1. have you understood what i have done simply i have multiplied and divided by n okay so let us go further we have some stress let us use just a minute huh Yes. So this is equal to limit n tends to infinity. Uh, see this 1 by n I will take inside and uh, let me show you what I'm going to do. So 1 upon 3 raised to n raised to 1 by n and here n square raised to 1 by n. So that 1 by n power I have taken inside and that n by n minus 1 I am keeping outside. Okay, So as a result of it, let us see what will happen and why I am doing this one. So this n and 1 by n will get cancelled to each other. So we will have simply 3. And here also I will interchange the power getting. So there is one rules of indices. 
a raised to n raised to m is same as a raised to m raised to n. You can interchange the powers. So that property or the that rule of indices I'm using and n raised to 1 by n and square we will have. Getting the point? n raised to 1 by n I'm taking inside and square taking outside. And see here what we have n upon n minus 1. So see let me remove this part. So this is equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 upon 3 into 1 by see what we have n raised to 1 by n n raised to 1 by n and square raised to at, at a power we have n upon n minus 1 so here I will divide numerator and denominator by n separately okay I am dividing numerator by n we will have 1 if you divide de denominator by n so 1 minus 1 by n okay so we know that we know this fact n raised to 1 by n always tends to 1 as n tends to infinity getting so it is uh, it will move towards 1 its value will be 1 as n tends to infinity so the value of this bracket will be 1 okay and 1 by n this 1 by n will go to 0 as n tends to infinity so that's why 1 minus 1 by n will tend to 1 so 1 minus 1 by n will tend to 1 minus 0 which is 1 so let us use all these things here so by applying the limit we will have 1 by 3 we have its value will be 1 by applying the limit and its square is obviously 1 and power also power also will move towards 1 so its value is 1 by 3 so what is value of alpha it is 1 by 3 okay so th this is value of alpha we have got so make a screenshot of it then we will go further so what we have got the value of alpha is 1 by 3 let me mention therefore alpha is 1 by 3 then radius of convergence r so radius of convergence is a reciprocal of alpha so this is 1 by alpha which is equal to 1 by 1 by 3 so that 3 is in denominator of denominator it will go to the numerator so it is equal to 3 so that's why the radius of convergence is 3 so therefore interval of convergence interval of convergence see when we have a uh, power series around 0 and radius of convergence is r then we say the interval of convergence is minus r comma r but see in this case we cannot write directly since we have x minus 1 we have that bracket x minus 1 it is power series around 1 so that's why we cannot write directly in that way so see how to find it then it's very simple x belongs to r so interval of convergence contains all points all real numbers such that mod x minus 1 so this x minus 1 i am taking here less than radius of convergence which is 3 so this is equal to x belongs to r such that see we are familiar with a formula mod a less than b oh sorry it's not formula it's result if and only minus b less than a less than b so that result i'm going to use here at a place of a we have x minus 1 and at a place of b we have 3 so let us use this result and we can write minus 3 less than x minus 1 less than 3 so let us add 1 in all sides i'm adding 1 minus 3 plus 1 minus 2 if you add 1 here plus 1 minus 1 will get cancelled and we will have x if you add 1 here 3 plus 1 4 so that means it contains all real numbers which lie between minus 2 and 4 so that's why the interval of convergence is open interval minus 2 comma 4 so this is the required answer make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you